Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name's Matt, and in this session, we're going to go over the panning features here in uh, the virtual SSL mixer that comes in Reason. Okay, so you can see here we have a stereo track here and a mono track. The stereo track comes with, a, with a, the ability con to control the stereo width of the signal. And if you bring the, the, the width, stereo width, all the way um, to you know, zero here to the left, it, this stereo track now becomes a mono signal in the stereo field, which is, is it, it can come in handy because sometimes you get stereo tracks and you, would, you, you just want to make a mono because, so you can place them better in the stereo field. Or you can narrow them in the stereo field which is really cool. So let's take a look at how you can use these, uh, the panning you know, uh, features here in the SSL mixer. With uh, i got a couple tracks going here. And with everything set to the middle, we just have a big muddy mix. You know, even though we have, uh, we're, we're doing some EQing and compression and stuff, let's just take a, a listen to this and see um, how the panning, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how, how easy it is to separate the different tracks in the mix using the panning and the stereo width. So here, here we have, uh, we'll just let you listen to this. Okay, so you got, that's just the piano and, and, a, and a vocal. And if we move forward into the song, now we're going to have a uh, piano, uh, vocal, uh, drums, and, and a bass guitar. Okay, so, you know, it gets, it gets, you know, there's a lot, everything's right in the middle. So let's take a listen to this and start moving stuff around. And I'm also going to use the, uh, the FX Sends here, too, because we have a panning feature right here, you know, the ability to pan on our returns. The only thing is, if you anything you do here on the returns is going to affect the whole, every, every um, uh, send channel here. So in other words, channel one, two, three, four of our sends. So that's one thing to keep in mind. So let's, let's take and listen to the um, piano here. And I'm thinking we should pan it a little to the left and we'll narrow the stereo field so it's not engulfing the whole, just, there you go. We narrow the stereo field on our stereo track. And then the, the, the vocal, maybe we'll just, just a little bit more up front. So if we, if we take the vocal and we just kind of narrow it because I want the vocal right up the middle but we're we're just going to kind of narrow it you know so it's not so uh, in the background okay let's move it up here to where the bass and the drums come in Well, I want the bass right up the middle. Let's take the snare and just etch it off a little to the left. And the hi-hat can be off to a little to the right. And now we have the drums as on a, on a, a bus right here. And you'll notice I, I added a little, a little uh, reverb here on the snare. So now what I want to do with the vocals, let's go back here, and I want to add um, a delay in and have it pan to the right, just a delay on the vocals. Now what we do is we, we've got a little 
we've placed everything in the stereo field using the uh, the panning features and you know particularly the the stereo width. So if we listen to the the vocals and we now we'll just mess with the width here and you can hear the the big difference it makes just by widening or narrowing the uh, the stereo field. You're See how that works with the with the widening or narrowing? It's actually pretty cool. Okay, we have our mute and solo buttons here, and I want to go over those real quick. There's a cool little thing here. So if we have our mutes, you know, we have a bunch of uh, tracks muted. If we want to unmute them, we can go right down here and all mutes off, and we can do the same thing with the solos, all solos off. Just I just want to show you that you may not know that, but it's right here, and so that pretty much does it for the um, the panning features here and the the mute and solo in the SSL virtual mixer that comes in Reason, and so I think that does it for this video. It was a quick one, but you know, hopefully it helps somebody out. Maybe you don't understand the stereo width, but now you do, and and just to let you know, all the videos that I've done here, you know are part of the, the SSL Mixer series, and you can find all those videos right here on our YouTube channel, and there's a playlist. You can just press play, and, and they're all right in here. And they're also on the, the, the Learn Reason uh, website right here in our Reason device widget, and you can just scroll to it, click on it, and every, the Mixer, the SSL Mixer has its own forum. And right here, you can go and click on each one. And as uh, more videos, I find more videos or I make new videos on the SSL Mixer um, in Reason, all the video links are right here. And you can just click on one. If you want to know about the in uh, inputs in the insert section, it takes you right to the, the video. You can, you can ask questions on that particular subject. If you want to go back, you just go right back to the, the it's, almost, it's, it's, it's set up like a web page instead of a form, but you can uh, ask questions and, uh, you know, a answer questions and help people out. So, so I hope this uh, helps you guys out, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And be social on our YouTube, our Twitter, our Facebook, and our Google Plus sites. I'm here to help you, and as the community grows, other people will be there to help you. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. You take care. Take